So here we have problem number 12. Uh, you can read the question and we'll start solving it. Okay, uh, so in problem number 12, we have given that AX varying as a time is equal alpha times time square and then AY with acceleration in Y direction as a function of time uh, or varying with time is equal to the beta minus gamma theta. So we know that alpha, beta, gamma uh, and Vx initial and Vy initial are, are all of them are given. We also have to find uh, final Y position at the time of 7 seconds. Okay. So first of all, we know that when acceleration is varying over time, uh, which is not constant, thus we have to use uh, integral to solve such a problem. The first of all, we know that Ay is equal to the dVy divided by dt. And from there, if we want to find dVy is equal Ay times dt. Okay, Then we have to integrate both sides in order to get, to get rid of differential. So by integrating it, uh, we Ay is equal to the this value. Okay, so we take the one and then we plug it here into a acceleration in y direction. By doing so, we integrated both sides, and then after that, uh, we get it as a Vy is equal to the B beta time minus gamma time squared over two, and uh, plus c constant which is v y initial okay so just remember this one uh, then after that so let me highlight this thing which is v y okay so v y actually is v y final then after that what we do is we have to uh, we know that v y is equal d y over d t and from there we want to find d y which is equal to the v y times d t now by integrating both sides again this one and uh, that one which is here by plugging vy into here um, we can integrate this equation after that dy in the after integration gives you y and which is equal to the uh, beta time squared over 2 minus gamma time cube divided by 6 plus vy initial times t and since we know that the time is from 0 till 7, we have to plug 7 seconds into time to each one. And then we can get the final answer, x final. Okay. So now, uh, basically, you can also do the same things uh, if you want to calculate uh, uh, x x final at seven second okay so suppose if you want to calculate what will be the uh, x at seven second then you have to look at only the ax components okay so you do the same thing which you have done here but instead of y you have to use x okay so that's it